Hi. So now that I've gone through and actually kind of talked about how I mock everything up and I have my plans now of what I want to do, I'm going to prepare this uh, in order to begin the process of uh, removing everything and actually start taking it in. So I could... If I wanted to do it quick, I could actually just take this, cut it, and sew it up, making sure that I use some sort of stretch stitch, zigzag stitch, or a serger. But I want this to look just like it does now, as if it's manufactured, when I'm done with it. I did notice that on some of the seams, they do with the binding. So this piece that's around here. This is called binding. I noticed the binding, they actually surge it in and just fold it over. This is one way of doing it. Another would be to take it and fold it over, but you would end up with kind of a bulky spot. You could sew it as one whole thing and then, you know, fold it over. There's a couple of different ways. And most likely I am probably going to do this method of how it's done. We'll see. We'll see when I get there. But while I was doing this, before I actually start taking this off, I want to also tell you how I would enlarge this, okay? So to enlarge this, I would actually remove the binding. Now this binding is done with a cover stitch. I've seen cover stitches uh, on the Latch Mama clothing done three different ways. I've seen uh, here where it's double like this. Uh, the shirt I am wearing right now. This is another, another style of cover stitch where it's got the three on the top. So this is more on your performance tank, which is what I'm wearing. And then there is, let's see if I can show you. If you can see it, this is a single. And if you look on the back, I'm trying to get it, you see how it's kind of uh, folded up? Yeah, there we go. So this is still a cover stitch. It's just a single. The nice thing about undoing cover stitches is when you go and I cut the threads. Let me find where I cut it. If I can find it now. When you cut them, you can actually very easily just start pulling it. So I went over here. Come on. I went over here and all I did is, is I used my handy dandy seam ripper. I went across the top. I went, I cut here, cut one, cut two, and I pulled it a little bit and it allowed me to just basically grab this. And now what it does, I think if I'm going to do more of these videos, I am going to find a better way to hold this camera. I can just basically pull it and it comes undone. Oh, there's something satisfying about this and it makes it so easy. Now it's being difficult. This just takes two hands. And so I just start pulling it. And this is now it comes, let's see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So. This is technically a double fold binding, in case you wanted to know. Uh, when it's like this, when it's open like that, that's a single fold. And then we fold it over, it's double. And this is what it looks like under there. So, if I wanted to enlarge this armhole, and how did I have it all over the place? If I wanted to enlarge this armhole, I would remove this binding. And because this is a knit, it stretches, yay, stretchy, whereas a woven doesn't stretch nearly anywhere near as much as a knit. I would remove it all. This is my top here. This is my bottom. Doing this one-handed is not fun, and there's a lot of fabric. And so I would likely, in the bottom of the armhole, which is here, this being the top of the shoulder, I would remove the binding. I would trim some of this fabric back, uh, roughly, 
probably a little less than what I would want. So if I thought, hey, I want to cut an inch off, I would do three quarters. You can always take fabric away, You can, but you cannot easily add it back. You can add it back, but it's not easy always. And then I would go and uh, put this back on and sew it back on. If I did not have a cover stitch machine likely to match this look, especially since there's bulk to this, I would just use a double needle on my regular sewing machine. I kind of talk about that in one of the other videos. And when there's a bulk like this, it does really good. So you wouldn't, from the top, you wouldn't know. The only way you would look at the back and it would be a zigzag on the back. And that would be how I would adjust this and that would enlarge the opening. You want to remove from under the arm. You don't want to remove from up at the shoulder. So you would just remove right there and keep that kind of shape. And then because this stretches, I would just kind of stretch it. So I'd probably only remove right in here on both sides. I would leave it attached here. I would go and take that away and then I would sew it back up and just kind of stretch it a little. Although this one is tied, so on the arms it is tied into there. So I'd have to undo uh, this portion of the surged in order to keep it. But I like having my clothes look as much like the manufacturer and not as if I went and hacked it. I tried to. Sometimes I just don't have the tools and I use what I can. So that is what I would do. I hope that helps you and answers some questions. So I'm going to get this uh, taken apart and I will see you when I actually start uh, cutting fabric.